In this video, we will learn about mail flow options inside the Microsoft Exchange Admin Center. So for moving on the Exchange Admin Center, we need to just log in with my admin account and uh, I will go on the Microsoft Exchange. So I am going to click on the show all. So uh, after scrolling it down, I can see there is a tab that is Exchange inside the Admin Centers. So once I click on the exchange options, so it has just redirected to the exchange admin center. Now uh, you can see there is a tab that is mail flow. Mail flow having various kind of other options and these all options provides various, uh, various other settings for the exchange and Microsoft and 365 admin center. So message stress, first is the message stress in the message stress you can just uh, query uh, messages either that is sent or that is related with sent or received and there are some de uh, default queries which already exist inside the message trace and uh, even you can also create a, a trace and you can create a custom query as well and uh, and there is a other tab that is start a trace, trace. In the start uh, trace here, you can just specify the sender name and recipient name. If someone just says that we have sent the email, but uh, uh, user is just denying uh, for the email uh, which has sent from uh, our organization, right? So in that case, just you can specify the sender name and even the recipient name over here. And uh, you can also specify a time range when it has been sent, either that is uh, last two days or last seven days. Here you can check it and uh, maximum you can specify the 90 days. And uh, if you want to make a custom time range, so you can specify over here. Even here you can also specify maximum 90 days. Just you can see that and uh, this is 30th of January so uh, this is the time I mean uh, again it's uh, 90 days so uh, you can specify the custom date and time over here and uh, here you can also download the summary report and uh, other extended report over here by clicking this all option so I am not going to download it or any uh, trace a mail but if you want so just you can click on the start address and here suppose I specify a email id like uh, amit.kumar uh, this user has been specified and I am not going to specify any recipient so I will search a mail which has been sent within 7 days so I will click on the search. Uh, once I click on the search, so I can see there is not a single mail has been sent by this user. And uh, if any mail which will be sent to by this user, so you can see the result over here and you can export the results uh, by clicking on this option. And even if you want to refresh it, so just you will click on the refresh. Or if you want to edit a message stress, so you can specify the sender or recipient based like uh, now I will go in the recipients and I will specify the email address over here and we'll see the last seven days of mail which has been sent to this recipients and we'll click on the search so now you can see there are the two email which has been uh, received by the amit.kumar at stackabc.com this is the recipients and this is the sender email address and this is the subject line so you can just select this email and uh, you can export the result export all result by clicking on this option so uh, export could take some time depending on the size of your search result and uh, here you can also select multiple uh, selections over here by clicking on this and you can just export the result again. So this is the part of uh, message stress inside the mail flow. In the next video we will see about rules 
and remote domains and accepted domains and uh, other options including connectors, alerts, policies. Thank you for watching this video.